Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It was gorgeous outside. I wish I was there. Um, I know, or rather I hope, excuse me, I hope you're having a decent time of getting to these videos. If it's confusing, um, we will do this all differently next week. I'm getting a feeling that's what we're going to need to do. Um, please let me know how it's working out for you. Leave a comment somewhere on one of your posts about how it's going, please. Um, you were asked to put some rock characteristics on your post from yesterday. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of those. I've only seen a few so far. And so I'm looking forward to seeing more and what you came up with. Today, you get to watch a video and, and learn about becoming a rock detective, which is very exciting. It is one of my favorite videos, let me tell you, because it is jam-packed with information about rocks. And since this is a unit where you will learn a lot about rocks, it's the perfect video because you get to learn about three different types of rocks, which is very cool. So we're going to watch that video. We're going to learn about three different types of rocks and what makes them those three different types of rocks and kind of where they came from. Okay. And then right now I'm going to share with you some three different rocks I have, and then you're not going to have much work for me today. I'm going to ask you to do one little thing. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to show you some rocks that I have here at home. Okay, so I have this rock here. I'm going to get it a little bit closer for you. Okay, we talked about describing words. What are some words you would use to describe this rock? Look how nice and close that is. It's bigger than my head. This we couldn't do at school. What are some things you notice? Look at its shape. What shape is it? Is it round? No, that's not round. No matter which way I hold it, it's not round. If I hold it like this, is it bumpy? Kind of. There's a little curve up there. Ooh, curve. That's a good word. I've start, I'm starting for us here a word bank, okay, of rock describing words. I'm going to add curvy to our list. This is hard to do by myself, but I'm going to take words from your PowerPoints also from your slides. So I have curvy, but I can also set this on top of something and it doesn't roll away. So it's not round. If it just sits there, both sides, it has a flat surface, right? So I'm adding the word flat to our word bank. Okay. Kind of looks, one end is flat here. This edge kind of comes to a what? To a point maybe? Either way pointy is a word we could add to our list. Right? It's dark. Okay we can talk about color. Dark. Okay. Look at those, what, tell me about the surface of the rock. There's little holes in it, right? There's divots in it. There's little bumps. So is the surface of this rock smooth? Not really. It's kind of rough, okay? There's holes in it. So I'm going to add that to our list too, rough. Now I'm going to show you some different rocks. Check these ones out. These are my favorite rocks. They're from a very special beach. These beaches, there's only 
five in the entire world. Okay, these are from a place called Schoolhouse Beach in Wisconsin. Okay, check out these rocks. What shape are these? Yeah, these are pretty round. So I'm going to write the word round on my list too. But they're also really flat. Look at that. So they're round, both of them. Look at those. They're round, but they're flat. So they stack beautifully. But check those out. So they're really smooth. Look how smooth that is. They feel almost cold. They're so smooth. So I'm going to add smooth. And I'm going to add the word round to my list, to our list, excuse me. It's not just mine. Round. Oop. And look at that. There's a line in it. Look at that line. Do you see that? You guys, I tell you what, getting the stuff I want to show you in the right spot is so hard. So hard on this camera. Look at that. Isn't that cool? These are my favorite things. I love these. They're so cool. Okay. So when you get a chance, so your job today. Okay. I want you to think about describing words because we're going to use describing words in the rest of our lessons about rocks. I'm going to ask you to describe lots of things. So that's your activity today. I'm not going to talk to you much longer. Your activity, your job today. You're going to go into your Seesaw activity slide, and you're going to draw me a smiley face. That's it. You're going to draw me a smiley face. I'm asking you to draw me a smiley face, and then I want you to describe it for me. Okay? Another way I can describe these rocks is if I put these at the same level here on the bottom, if I level these up with the bottom of my finger, what do you notice? Are they the same size? No. One of them is smaller and one of them is bigger, right? Those are also describing words. Okay? Draw me a smiley face. Describe it. That's your job today. Okay? Easy peasy. And then if you didn't get work done for Monday or Tuesday, take some time for that. Okay? Otherwise, come back to me tomorrow because we're going to check out some really cool stuff. Okay? Enjoy your Rock Detective video. Like I said, it's one of my favorites. See you tomorrow, guys.